Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement admin LTE in Laravel 9. So first let's discuss what is admin LTE. Admin LTE is basically a theme that is related to admin dashboard or admin panel. Let's move forward. For example you are going to create a fresh project for a client and in any case you will have to implement a front end and the back end for the admin dashboard okay so uh, let's say if you are going to create a, an admin panel from scratch that is going to take some time so in that in those cases we can simply use a uh, use or include admin lte package in our project so that we can save that time and we will have a structure uh, all we need to do is just copy and paste and added the uh, let's say packet functionality according to our requirement okay so let's see this is in detail uh, while implementing it so let's start uh, I will open this notepad file right here so first of all in order to implement admin LTE we need to have a fresh Laravel we need to create a fresh Laravel project you can uh, let's say if you are using uh, Laravel globally you can simply use this command otherwise you will have to go for the this one for this one okay so in my case I have Laravel globally installed so let's access git bash first okay and let's access htdocs so cd c zam htdocs okay and i'm going to write laravel new admin lte1 so you guys can create uh, name your project admin lte in my case i'm going to name it admin lte1 why because i already have a project with the name admin lte uh, i use that specific project for hindi and urdu lecture so let's hit enter this command is going to take some time for the execution so i'm just going to pause the video okay guys so now we have our fresh laravel project so let's access that cd admin lte1 okay Let's move to step number two, which says that we need to install Laravel's Lara starter for admin LT and simply for that we can simply use this command right here, step number two. So let's do that. Let's move here, get patch, paste it, hit enter. Once again, this is going to take some time, so I'm going to pause the video. Okay, guys, so the second command, uh, command is done. Let's move to step number three, which says that we need to install uh, scaffolding for Lara starter. So I'm going to copy this and also uh, while using this command we are going to execute the step number four and five right here as well okay let's move here let's paste this install and now it is going to ask us which type of kit do we need so in my case I'm going to go with the Laravel UI you need to select Laravel UI in your cases as well for now okay once you have the command you can uh, go here and there it's totally up to you okay but uh, in this case we are going to go with Laravel UI bootstrap to hit enter it's right here okay now it's it is going to ask us uh, let's say which theme do we want to implement so in our case we want admin LTE and for that we need to press 0 and hit enter now this is going to take some time so let's pause this video once again Okay guys, so it's done. Now we need to run our read server right here using this command npm install and an npm run dev which is our step number 6. So npm install and an npm run dev. Okay. So in order to access our project, now I need to access another instance of git bash. So let's do that. Git bash. And let's access our project once again here cd c zam ht docs and admin lte1 okay now we need to run the migration but in, uh, but in our cases we don't even have the database so let's say if you don't have the database one way is to implement it right here or create the database right here and the other way is right here let's see okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to run the migration php artisan migrate just like that now it is going to ask us we don't have the uh, database with the name admin lt uh, so uh, do we want to create it so i will write yes hit enter and the migration is done now i we can simply run our project php artisan serve port 8080 okay uh, let me see if our read server is running yeah right here okay using the command npm run and then npm run dev okay so our server is started let's move here 
and right here so let's move to login it is going to create the auth for us as well okay just in case if you don't know now you, you will be able to see so right here we don't have the uh, link for uh, uh, let's say register page you can create it on your own it's totally up to you because this is for you guys okay register and right here we can simply create a uh, user so let's do that Tossif and let's say email would be all about laravel this one okay let me put a very simple password right here and this one register and let's see uh, let's do the refresh so we are logged in we have our user right here you can see the name let's move here let me show you admin lte one admin lte project well, i was using that uh, one for the hindi urdu lecture okay once again if you don't know okay so we have our user in place okay our theme is working fine let me show you some stuff that we have so let's move we can simply uh, click here and navigate to our profile right here we can see users existing users in our application we can have we can see a sample page right here you can write a sample data actually in uh, in your case you can simply use this theme this is an admin dashboard all you need to do is uh, put some let's say cards etc et tables whatever you need okay so how can we do that so let's see okay i'm just going to show you a very basic example so for that you can simply use color library hq admin lte right here okay i will provide the link in the description of this link okay so right here you need to come uh, to this link and you need to download this source code zip i already have it so so let me show you let's move to download okay so this is the zip file i already unzipped it right here you can see let's access this one so admin lte has three version version two one and one two and three sorry for that guys okay so in my case i'm going to use the first one okay if you want to access uh, version 2 you need to access index 2 okay so this is just for testing so right here you can see so actually guys uh, uh, admin lte right here we have uh, a basic html css javascript right here okay so let's say if you want to use this you need to create each and every file on your own by using this package we are able to create a structure file structure for our admin dashboard if you see right here see this one so you don't need to do anything otherwise you will have to configure this sidebar top bar and main part etc it's totally up to you so this makes our life easier if we use the package and now we can simply use whatever we need from right here okay so for example let's say for example i need to use these cards so how can i get that so let's move to our uh, let's say folder structure for admin lte and i'm going to open this index file in uh, with the help of sublime so open with sublime right here okay now i can simply search uh, wherever i want to go so for example let's say i want to include this card uh, as i told you that i'm going to show you a very basic example so i want this uh, these cards so let's move to sublime and i'm going to search for 150 which is right here see okay so 150 uh, we have our cards right here you can see and all of these cards are inside this row so i can simply copy this row okay copy and uh, where is it ending yeah right here this one copy now i can simply copy so in our case in our package case we are using home blade so let's move to sublime resources views and home blade right here so in my case uh, okay sorry uh, i need to first access the admin lte one okay so let me close this one admin open folder hdocs this one is related to uh, admin lte as i told you or hindi urdu lecture sorry for that guys okay so admin lte let's close this one okay i need to access this index file once again so open with sublime okay so i i already have copied the code so i can simply move to views and home blade right here so in our case i don't need this raw and this column okay and i don't need this just like that and okay that's fine okay so right here i can simply put my cards okay with the rows because i i, I already copied the rows as well so let's 
view this in action and right here you can see the result so let's say for example you want to implement these cards inside this card you can also do that let me show you okay so uh, we are not able to align this properly because of these uh, comments okay so just that you know okay so just after the p i want to implement my card for example so let's do that let's do a refresh and right here you can see okay so it's working like a charm all you need to do is whatever you need from here for example graph or let's say charts or let's say buttons you can simply uh, open it in sublime and copy and paste just in case if you are going to use the charts please make sure that you are uh, including the uh, relevant js and css file as well okay so yeah guys that's it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care